students i hope you have watched all the previous videos of the chapter shapes and angles today in this video we are going to study last two objectives of the chapter the first one is instruments or tools that are used to draw and measure angles do you know angles yes you know we have learned in the previous video so how to measure that angles using these instruments there are mainly two instruments out of which we are going to learn one in detail that is one is protector or d why it is called d because it has a almost d shape almost kya d shape ka hi hota hai and another one is divider we will see what is protector and what is divider okay students let's study about the first instrument that is protector or we call it d as we all know angles are measured in degrees we have studied in the previous lecture and degree is denoted by this particular symbol am i right for example 90 degree is denoted as 90 degree and we use the instrument called protector which you can see here this is nothing but a protector is it in the shape of d or not yes it is in the shape of d so it is also known as d or a protector am i clear as you all can see here protector start with the inner scale and the outer scale both the scale has measurements both the scale start with 0 and end at 180 if you start from left to right or right to left you can measure angle in both ways am i clear to you as you can see here they have given measurement starting from 0 degree 10 degree 20 30 40 50 this are nothing but degrees in which we can measure angle it has inner scale as well as outer scale these both scales are used to measure angles and at the bottom we have base line as you can see this bottom line is nothing but a base line at the center of base line we have center so what is use of this center if we put this center of base line at vertex we can measure any given angle so again where we have to put this center of base line at the vertex of given angle so we can measure any given angle in degree we can measure angle from right to left as well as we can measure angle left to right because we have given two scale one is inner scale another is outer scale both the scales are used to measure angle in degree as you can see the values are given as 0 10 20 30 40 these are nothing but degrees and similarly in inner scale the values are 10 20 30 40 these are nothing but values of angle that is in degree so we can measure it from right to left and left to right just we have to put center of base line at vertex and we can measure any given angle i hope you are clear with the protector and how to use such a protector okay students very good as you all know this is a protector the device which is used to measure angle at the bottom we have base line and the, at the center of which we have central point this protector is divided into 180 division or we can call it 180 degree and if we complete the protector it is divided into 360 degrees so each division represent 
वन डिग्री बेस्ड ऑन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू आर्म्स ऑफ द एंगल वी कैन मेजर डिफरेंट एंगल सच एस थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी डिग्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री वन एटी डिग्री दिस आर नथिंग बट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू आर्म्स एज यू कैन सी हेयर वी हैव आर्म बी सी एंड आर्म बी ए सो हाउ टू मेजर एंगल बिटवीन ए बी एंड बी सी सो फर्स्ट वी हैव पोर्ट प्रोटेक्ट द सेंटर ऑफ बेस लाइन एट वर्ट एक्स एट पॉइंट बी एंड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री दिस आर्म इज एट हाउ मेनी डिग्री इट इज एट थर्टी डिग्री सो वी कैन से दैट एंगल ए बी सी इज ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री नाउ यू आर क्लियर विथ हाउ टू मेजर एंगल यूजिंग प्रोट्रेक्टर ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड फाइनली वी हैव डिवाइडर एज यू कैन सी डिवाइडर हैज टू लैग्स दिस टू लैग्स आर यूज टू मेजर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आर्म्स इज इट क्लियर स्टूडेंट वी हैव सीन टू इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और टूल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच वी कैन ड्रॉ अ एंगल और वी कैन मेजर एन एंगल ओके स्टूडेंट्स let's start with the types of angles in which the first type is acute angle okay so what is acute angle a uh, angle that measure more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree what does it mean let's see if i draw a ray angle is made up of how many rays two ray but in acute angle these two rays are less than 90 degree a angle in which measurement is less than 90 degree or in simple word the angle which is less than 90 degree is known as acute angle a angle which is less than 90 degree is known as acute angle jo angle 0 degree se bada hai lekin 90 degree se छोटा है अगेन मोर देन जीरो डिग्री बट लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री द एंगल विच इज लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री सच एंगल इज नोन एज एक्यूट एंगल लेट से दिस एंगल विल बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओ बी एंड ओ ए सो द एंगल ए ओ बी इज एक्यूट एंगल वाई एक्यूट एंगल बिकॉज इट इज less than 90 degree if angle has value less than say 30 degree 40 degree 25 degree 75 degree all these values all this angle are less than 90 so such angle are known as acute angle any angle which is less than 90 degree All those angle are known as acute angle. Okay, remember any angle which are less than ninety degree. All such angles are acute angle. Okay, very good. The next type is right angle. So an angle that measure exactly ninety degrees. There are some angles which are exactly ninety degrees. Such angle are known as right angle let's take a example if i draw like this so this angle will be 90 degree so if such a angle are known as right angle whose values is exactly 90 degree such a angle are known as right angle if i draw like this so this angle will be 90 degree and this angle is known as right angle so if any shape or any angle in the shape of l okay l it might be straight l reverse l this type of l or this type of l 
all such angle are right angle which has measure of exactly how many degree 90 degree so remember the angle which has exactly 90 degree value such angle are known as right angle is it clear if we take example as previous lecture the angle made by corner of this whiteboard is nothing but 90 degree the angle made by this corner also is 90 degree as I said any L shape will make angle of 90 degree each four corner of this whiteboard make angle of 90 degree and that angle we call the exactly 90 degree angle is known as right angle am I clear ok students very good the third important type is obtuse angle so what is obtuse angle an angle that measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree what does it mean jo angle 90 degree se bada hai but 180 degree se chota hai let's see if I draw a ray PQ with P as a end point and if I draw another ray say PR which is have common end point that is P as a vertex so the distance between PQ and PR is more than 90 but less than 180 say this distance will be 130 degree so the angle that measures more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree such an angle are known as obtuse angle as we have seen 130 degree is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree same way if I say 100 degree Celsius 110 degree 145 degree any angle which has value more than 90 degree which has value more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree such angle are obtuse angle in simple word the angle which has value more than 90 degree are obtuse angle we have seen the example is it clear so students we have studied three main types of angle the first one is acute angle the angle which is less than 90 degree second is right angle the angle with exactly 90 degrees and third main angle that is obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degree very good so these are the main three types but we have some extra types such as zero angle reflex angle and finally complete angle we have to study these three types also these are not important but as a student you also need to know what are zero angle what are reflex angle and what is complete angle so let's do it zero angle the angle the angle that measure exactly zero degree that means the distance between both the arms of angle has how much distance zero so if I say I have drawn ray or arm OA and if I draw arm OB so here as you can see the distance between OA and OB is zero so if a angle has a distance of zero if the angle measures zero such angle is known as 
zero angle. Am I clear? Let's take another type. That is reflex angle. So the angle which measure, which measure more than one eighty, more than one eighty degree, and less than. 360 degree if the angle has measurement of more than 180 and less than 360 that means angle 180 degree se zyada hai but 360 degree se kam hai such a angle is known as reflex angle let's take an example if i draw angle a o b so this distance this distance, distance between arms AO and arms OB, this distance is known as 250 degrees. So the distance is more than 180 but less than 360. Such an angle is known as reflex angle. And finally, we have complete angle. Finally, we have complete angle. So, if the angle measured exactly 360 degree, if the angle has measurement of exactly how many degree? 360 degree. Such an angle is known as complete angle. That means if OA is here and another ray turns around and comes at here that is OB so the distance from OA to OB is how many degree 360 degree so if the angle measure exactly 360 such an angle is known as complete angle so these three are the extra types just remember no need to memorize or something but as a student you all should know what is zero angle, what is reflex angle and what is complete angle. But what are the three main type? Acute angle, right angle and obtuse angle. I hope all of you are clear with types of angle. Let's summarize what we have learned about the types of angles. Observe this picture carefully. Starting with zero angle, where the distance between both the rays is 0 degree. Such angle is known as 0 angle. Next we have acute angle whose measure is more than 0 degree less than 90 degree and at exactly 90 degree we have right angle. After that we have obtuse angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Then we have straight angle whose measure is exactly 180 degree after that we have reflex angle whose measure is greater than 180 less than 360 and finally we have complete angle whose measure is exactly 360 degrees that is the distance between two rays is exactly 360 degree okay so these are the types which we have learned till now.